This is the first in three parts of a tutorial on the basic competencies of ExamView. In this first part, we're going to look at installing the program, creating a test, and then saving a test and reopening it. So to start with, to install ExamView, you simply put the disk in your disk drive. You go over and open up My Computer. When that opens, you look for your CD or DVD ROM, right-click on it where it says ExamView, and then say Open. One of the files listed is setup.exe. Simply double click on that. That will open the installer. And then you'll simply follow the instructions to install the program on your hard drive. Now when you install it, you should be aware that you will put three icons on the desktop. Test generator to create test. Test player, which is what students need to take a test in a computer lab and the local area network. And test manager, which is a teacher program that allows you to set up classes have your test graded and use the data from those. For this session, we're going to focus on ExamView Test Generator. As we go into it, you will have an initial screen where you have to fill in your information. Mine is shown above. Um, then you'll have the choice to register or not. That's totally up to you. This is the first information screen that comes up. The left-hand side has to do with creating tests. So create a new test with Wizard, create a new test from scratch, open an existing test. You also have create a new question bank and open an existing question bank, which are beyond the basic competencies. So we'll focus on these first three. As well as clicking the icon, you can also go up to file and you will have all of these choices there as well. So we're going to start out creating a test with a wizard. We have to give it a name. We're going to call it sample and say next. It brings up our exam view books. We're going to pick Glencoe Biology 2007. I want the English questions. You'll notice it lists the chapter and I can highlight the chapter and click select or I can simply double click the chapter I want. So I've chosen in my bottom box chapter 5 and it tells me I have one question bank with 70 questions available. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to go to next and it brings up the quick test wizard. From this screen you can choose as many of the 70 questions as you want from each section. So I want five true false. I want to go down. I want two modified true false. I want ten multiple choice. I don't want any completion or short answer. I want one problem and I want one essay. So I have selected a total of 18. At any point in time I could go back and select those numbers again. So I'm going to hit next. It gives me a summary of the number of questions I've gotten when I hit finish it actually creates that test having randomly selected the questions among the ones that are available. So there's my multiple choice, there's my problem, there's my essay question, there's my answer key underneath it, and you notice with quite a bit of information, difficulty level, national standard, on a number of the questions they will have state standards depending if this has been done for your state. The reference number is simply the page number in the textbook that covers that information. Now another way people use Quick Wizard, I'm going to go to File and do Quick Test Wizard. I'm not going to save this initial test. I'm going to call it Sample again and go to Next. I'm going to pick the same chapter and I, by the way I could pick multiple chapters. I'm going to do, let's say pick chapter 5 and 6. I have two question banks with 138 questions. Great. I'm going to go to Next. Some teachers like to use this feature called Select All. I want to select all the questions that are available. There are 138. Go to Next. It gives me the summary. I hit Finish. It makes the test with all 138 questions. Then what they do is go in and delete the questions they don't want. So this is kind of backward. Put all the questions on, delete the ones I don't want. To delete a question, I simply highlight it, go down to the bottom of the screen and click on Delete and say Yes or I can highlight it and just hit the delete key on my keyboard and say yes. So that's creating a test using wizard, either selecting a specific number of questions or selecting all the questions and then going back and deleting it. The other way to make a test is from scratch and you remember that icon on the front information screen but I can also get to it here. I want a new test. I click new. I'm not going to save the existing test. I give it a name. Again, we'll be real creative and call it sample. I hit OK. It brings up an information screen that shows the different ways I can select questions. Randomly is basically click wizard. From a list might be the objectives from the chapter. Select while viewing is looking at the questions and picking them. Select by standard is just that. 
select by criteria, it could be difficulty level or so on, or select all, again, it's just choosing all the questions out of the bank. We're going to say OK, and you'll notice those same icons are up on the top menu bar or toolbar. I want to do select while viewing, which is the most common one used, although some people do use select by standard. I'm going to go into select while, you, while viewing. I'm going to click on chapter 6 and chapter 7. So we're going to do a two chapter test. You'll notice both of those are in the bottom. There's 136 questions available from these two chapters. I hit next. It actually now brings up the question bank. These are all the questions with the answer and the information right below them. If you want a question, all you do is check the box next to the question. I want one, two, three. I don't want four. I'm going to skip that one, but I am going to choose five. And then I want some multiple choice questions, so I'm going to scroll down to the next section. Here's the multiple choice question. I could either again check the questions, or if I want all of the multiple choice, I don't have to check every single question. I can go to the box next to the heading, click multiple choice, and it will have selected now every multiple choice question available from this chapter. Then I can go down below the multiple choice section and choose some of the other types of questions like problems or essays that are available. Now one last comment on this. You'll notice at the beginning I chose 6 and 7. Well right now under bank it's only showing chapter 6. It will only let you see one question bank at a time. So I picked the questions I want from chapter 6. Now I'm going to click the little arrow next to the bank. You'll notice chapter 7. I'm going to pick chapter 7. I can go through and pick some of those questions now. So I want number one, I want number two. I'm going to scroll down a little bit out of the multiple choice. I want this short answer question and this one right here and it says I have a total now of 42 and that's the number of questions I want. I simply hit finish. So now all of the questions that I've chosen from chapter six and seven are on my test and it has actually put the questions together by section. So all the multiple choice questions from both chapter are in the multiple choice section. There's my short answer question based off the document. Um, so it is a document based question as you've seen a number of those in here. I like this test. I want to keep it. I simply go file. I want to save this test and I'm going to call this test biology um, A. I'm going to hit save and that's automatically saved in my test folder. If I wanted to get back to that test later, I would simply double click back into test generator. It brings up my choice box, my information again, and then it brings up the icon box. Now I could go open an existing test and it would let me choose biology A or I have the choice if I'm already in it, I can go up to file and say open test. There's our biology A test we just made. We're going to double click on it. And it brought up that test. And then following the test again is the answer key that goes along with that. Now, just for frame of reference, we've looked at it three things. We've looked at installing um, exam view through my computer open and then set up. We've looked at creating a test from QuickWizard. We've looked at creating a test from scratch, and then we've been able to save and reopen those tests. So that's the first part of the basic competencies for exam view. The next section will focus on editing questions and editing the look of your test.